Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Somebody was advised by an elder that they needed to sacrifice something and take a leap of faith. But the Four of Pentacles is in the reverse. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This has to do with somebody being greedy, not wanting to let something go. This has to do with some type of, um, I'm picking up like a double life. Like there's like a double, like somebody here to have like a, a spouse, family, children, assets, liabilities together. And it feels like an elder may have told them you know, you need to live a um, traditional um, life that is going to be socially accepted, but it feels like somebody is doing something else. Somebody could be doing something illegal. Somebody could have um, a relationship. There could be, you know, with some may consider like an illegitimate child or something. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, in the reverse, and here's the Emperor in the reverse. Ooh, my goodness, Emperor in the reverse, and then the Four of Wands, and that's upright, and then the Page of Swords in the reverse. Somebody is receiving, and here's the King of Pentacles. There's definitely um, like an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, maybe an Aries. This is a very, very masculine person. Um, but this person may be very masculine. They could be very stubborn. If this isn't this actual masculine, it's like a masculine who has like a father figure or someone that is very, very um, controlling. Like somebody here is misusing and abusing power. Four of Wands. So somebody is receiving bad news, though, about their home life, their family life, their foundation, their security, their stability, or whatever it is. You have the Emperor in the verse. Here's the King of Pentacles and the Hangman. Wow. King of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Five of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Somebody is is caught up in some type of conflict. There is some type. There is definitely some type of drama here. Like somebody has taken advice from someone about their home life, their love life, their family, or something like this. This could have been advice in the past. Somebody took advice from someone, Ace of Cups, about their love life or something. The Emperor is in the reverse. So somebody is abusing their power. Or the Emperor in the reverse, this could be somebody who is in a very distorted masculine type of energy. So somebody here could be, because we did see before the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, this person could be married and maybe they're like a player, but there's something about this energy that like that I'm getting. It's, it's, it feels very much scandalous. Like something here, this is more than just like, oh, somebody's having an affair. Uh-oh. See? You have here the lovers. And here's the Ten of Pentacles. Here's the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Dang. Mm. King of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's a lot of fire and passion. Ace of Cups. It's just the Ace of Cups is here with the Ace of Wands. This is somebody starting some kind of brand new passion and beginning going towards love. Somebody is in love, but you have here the Queen of Swords and the Devil. This is like this is a, a very I feel angry. Somebody here is upset and it has to do with some type of the devil. This this is some kind of obsession. It's something here that's taboo. Six of Wands in the reverse, Four of Cups. I'm trying... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying very hard not to say 
what I'm picking up on without the cards saying it because I don't want anybody to be like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's some stuff that is so far fetched sometimes that although intuitively I can get the message and I I trust myself 100%. Before I go there, I'm just like, just let the cards talk. You have the Queen of Swords out here, the King of Pentacles. It's a lot of masculine energy out here. And there's a distorted masculine energy out here, the lover. Somebody has to make a choice, and then you have the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is right here next to the devil. I feel like it's a queen of swords out here that is yelling, screaming. Like this person has a lot to say about something and it has to do with a person rejecting their offer and not wanting to move forward with them. But the, the reason why this masculine is rejecting someone's offer and not moving forward with them is because this person is very, very passionate about offering love and having a new long-term beginning with someone else. And I'm so sorry, but I have to... It very well could be with someone of the same sex. Three of swords. This is this is like heartbreaking to somebody. Five of cups in the reverse. The five of cups in the reverse is like upright. It's like disappointment and regret. In the reverse, though, it's like finally moving on and accepting something. Like somebody is going to have to accept that the Nine of Pentacles, that, that they really need to leave a situation and just be free. This is somebody who is living a double life or living in some type of illusion. You guys know that just recently Neptune went direct in Pisces. Like there are no more fantasies. There's no more illusions. I feel like a person is being caught up or exposed because they've always fantasized about living a particular lifestyle that is considered taboo somebody has told a person though hey you know just stick it out just stay with your family or something like that when the truth is this person may have a family elsewhere that they want to go towards or they have like another lover somewhere it's something here and it's 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 like a scandal it's taboo it's like what and this Queen of Swords is raising this sword. Like, really, this person has a lot to say because they see the Ace of Cups and the Passion. Somebody here can see the love and the passion that a person has. The King of Wands. The King of Wands is a natural born leader. This also the kind of person that's very open minded. The Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. This feels like somebody can see that. To be honest, there could be a man out here who is open to the idea of them like forever being a bachelor or them. Um, this could be somebody who wants to be like in a poly, uh, a poly relationship or a same sex relationship. Somebody wants something that is extremely taboo and unconventional. And with the devil card being here, it's like somebody is not willing to move forward if they can't have this. This is almost like a person is, because I'm picking up, it's like a conference, like a man is telling this woman, I can't marry you unless you allow me to do this. And it has something to do with, with, with a third party. You have here, this car, the devil, it's, somebody is very tempted by something. And then the Four of Cups, somebody already knows that they are extremely tempted to do something. And it's like this person saying, I can't stay in this connection or I can't get married unless you are going to accept the fact that I need this. This is kind of like a person saying, listen, we, we can have a family and do this and do that. But, you know, I just need you to understand, I want to live in a separate house. And then you get to ask them, well, why do you want to live in a, in a separate, why do you need a separate home? And this person has some type of fetish. It's something that they, they, it's not they want, they feel like they need to do this. Like this person, they want to be alone so that they can indulge in something that is just not, <laughs> it's, it's not 
for the faint of heart or for a family. And somebody now may be deciding that they really need to let go eight of swords in the reverse of some kind of illusion and they need to free themselves. And, you know, I don't want to, to make this, like, so scary, but this could even be somebody that's like, hey, you know, we we can be together, live together, but, like, my parents have to live with us. It's something that a person is presenting to their partner that it's like a, it's an absolute no. And, I mean, this could be a woman. This could be a woman who is saying that they want, like, two husbands or something. <laughs> Not a pinnacle, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Ten of swords in reverse. It's like... Someone needs to learn a lesson from the past. With the ten of swords in reverse. Or some, the ten of swords... In the reverse, is somebody for sure being in survival mode, um, trying to overcome some kind of past heartbreak, pain, trouble, or or even trauma? This Ten of Swords fell underneath the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Emperor is in the reverse. So it's like somebody. I don't know what this is. It's like somebody could have had some type of family trauma. And now they're they're very much set on doing something in their life that affects the family. But again, it's very taboo. So this could be, you know what I'm getting? This could be the, the type of situation where somebody's like, you know, I was raised in poverty. So I feel that for the sake of the children having exposure to different backgrounds, different cultures, and more opportunities, and for us to make more money and be more successful, this should be like a, a polygamous relationship. You know, there should be uh, two or three or four different partners because some, somebody is like, we need to bring more, more abundance in. We need to bring more energy in. So somebody is pretty much like telling somebody, hey, if you're going to be here, you're going to have to be okay with me having a third party. And this person, I mean, I'm not talking about just like, hey, let's have a good time. No, somebody is very serious about this. Very serious. But it could be shocking to somebody. I mean, obviously in like a poly relationship, there's same sex and, and, and the dynamics of those relationships can can be sometimes there is no like same sex activities happening but this could be the type of person that's like no they they want to be open to do things with 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 both or all parties and it doesn't matter the the gender because i feel like somebody here is trying to this is about abundance and manifestation. Somebody, listen. Somebody feels like to manifest wealth and abundance that like a poly relationship makes the most sense. And I feel like the question that somebody is having or the concern is like, do you realize that this means that you, that either you or this person will be in some type of same-sex relationship. And I, I'm assuming that now the way this person is presenting this, this idea is becoming clear that this person is maybe not like heterosexual or, or they're expecting you to change your sexual person. It's something here. This is not everyone's message. It's very specific. The moon, yeah. Tab something is taboo, something is hidden. Something is not what it appears to be. And it's underneath the, this four of wands, king of wands. This person who seems very open-minded and family-oriented and all that, like this is this situation has something hidden here. And the moon is right here with the king of wands and the wands. It's something hidden about this person's uh, sexual preferences. That's like the, the wand, like... 
and somebody is getting bad news about a situation, if somebody went looking for some information or somebody is spying on somebody or has found out, this is something being revealed that someone went looking for or it, it came looking for them. And it has to do with something sexual that was done in the dark. The four ones could be a home. Like something is being revealed about some kind of betrayal that happened maybe in the past, even in a home. And you have the Emperor in the Reverse and the King of Wands and the Page of Swords. These are all masculine energies. There, there's no feminine energy out here besides this Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords looks like she is, is very much trying to figure out like what is happening, what's going on. The Four of Swords, this man is on his back. This has to do with somebody who was resting or healing. Somebody is right now emotionally like Physically, somebody is tapped out. You have the death card in the reverse and the empress in the reverse. Yeah, and somebody, I feel like somebody, the empress in the reverse, there's a man out here who is refusing to marry a woman. Refusing to marry this person, refusing to do something. Like this person is not willing to meet the needs of this divine of, of, I'm just going to say this feminine at all because this person this person is fantasizing seven of cups they have a, a fantasy about something different it's not this person that they that they want it's like somebody is not physically attracted to somebody or something and I did say something the other day or it may have actually been in the reading that I uploaded today. It's like somebody could be, um, somebody could just like, you know, be bisexual or something. And they, they're finally needing to come out and admit that they're more sexually attracted to maybe someone of the same sex. I feel like somebody is about to realize that the reason why a person is not offering a marriage or a commitment or something it has to do with their preferences changing or them finally admitting it. The world and the six of cups. And this card literally says finding a connection to the past. Yeah, it's all about to make sense now because somebody here in their past, in the past, somebody could have in the past, somebody could have dealt with a person of the same sex or something. Or they had some type of trauma. But somebody is connecting the dots. Yep, eight of wands. And this is going to move, make something move very, very quickly. The star in the reverse. Ooh, the tower in the reverse. Yeah, when this information comes, it's going to knock somebody like off their feet. Like somebody is going to be in despair. And whatever they thought was wish fulfillment is no longer wish fulfillment. There is somebody's gonna instantly feel hopeless with the tower in the reverse. Somebody, it's like somebody can no longer be in denial about this situation in the cherry. They have to move forward. Somebody has to move forward. They have to move on from this situation. Ah, let me see. Mm. See with this little what's tea day? Is this some type of tea? <laughs> it's some type of scandal. Somebody is even on this deck here. Hey man, somebody is really caught up in a situation. Like there is no more hiding. There is no more denying a situation. Like it's it's out or it's coming out very soon. This card says. Um, hairstyle is telling all your business and sleeping with your man or woman. So yeah, it's like a third party situation. And this card says side chick drama. You can have him through the week and I will take him over the weekend. Ooh. So, and I mean, this is too, it's like so this could be a situation where somebody has been cheating with somebody 
Okay, I'm, two different things. Very different type of reading. Somebody could have been cheating with somebody and they now are like deciding they're not going to leave that person alone. So now they are making the suggestion of everybody being together. Or this is a situation where somebody was open to, you know, an unconventional sort of taboo lifestyle. Maybe they were swinging or something else with this past situation. Maybe somebody in the past like was doing some kind of open relationship type situation. And it seemed maybe maybe somebody has fallen in love with whoever they brought into this third party situation. And somebody is like, wait a minute, this was supposed to be something, you know, that we did together or whatever. But no, this, something here has become much more than what it was supposed to be. It's, this is some kind of open relationship. Yeah, it says engage. Yeah, he chose me. Skadoodle and find you some business. Okay. <laughs> so, somebody here had an open relationship. And they could have been entertaining the idea of like a poly type situation. Or it's like they had an open relationship. Somebody was sleeping with another person. I don't know if it's the man or the woman. Somebody was sleeping with somebody. They were doing, maybe they were doing this together. Well, now somebody is wanting to bring their person into this marriage, family, or whatever permanently. But it feels to me like the person that, I want to say the masculine is trying to bring in, it's like they're, they're actually more into the newer person than the person that perhaps they have established the foundation with. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at this rejection. So this feels to me like somebody pretty much is losing their long-term partner or spouse or whomever to a person that they decided to bring into their relationship. Somebody opened up their connection and, and their bedroom to somebody else that the person is now wanting to be with and th this i'm telling you this feels like this man is pretty much telling their long-term person listen i'm not marrying you you can stay here but i'm gonna marry this person but this person that they're talking about marrying is somebody that they used to they all used to hang out together or this could even be like somebody now is choosing to marry someone's family member or some it's something like that it's a real scandal. Like somebody is like, or or this could even be like somebody, somebody, somebody is, is dating or or marrying somebody's like real close friend or sibling or something like that. <sighs> yeah. Seriously. And I mean this this is like the talk the, the talk of the town right now. And somebody is like, they don't care. They're like, yeah, he chose me. And what, what are you going to do about it? Oh, my. Mm. Wow. This just seems so messy. I'm actually shocked that I even, like... Yeah, I, I pick up a lot of stuff, but yeah, toxic secrets. And it says walking away was the hardest thing I've ever had to do for me. So for some of you, the best thing at the bottom of the deck, it says swingers. And here is self-care. So for some of you, you know, I don't know if this is your situation or what. It's wow. Revenge. Cheating with your best friend or your homie. in a relationship with an older woman. This could even be a situation where like somebody is dating someone's mother or like their older aunt or like their older sibling or something. It's something out here. So somebody is, is trying to literally bring in someone's best friend or family member into the relationship. And I'm talking like marriage. Karma. 
Wow. My goodness. It says it's love for me. So somebody is like this. Somebody is like, no, it's love. Medical record, somebody could be pregnant. Mm, look at this. Cheating in a same sex relationship, live in situation. So somebody could possibly, because I'm, I'm picking like, so somebody could have a family member that lives with them. Oh my gosh. Somebody could have a family member that lives with them. This family member could be older or younger. And it's like somebody has been sleeping with somebody in the same home. Or it could be a close friend that's like family. Or somebody could, you know, be in-law. It's something like that. And a person literally is just like, no, I'm, I'm going to be with that person. And it's, it's sort of like, you know, either you can be with me or I'm going to be with you or we can be together. But somebody's like, we're, we're going to be together. You know, you can stay here with us if you want to. But I'm going to be with that person or somebody is making it clear. I'm not going to stop sleeping with that person, being with that person or whatever. So what do you want to do? Do you want to stay here? You know, it, it's kind of like that. Well, if you can't beat them, then just join. Somebody's like, well, listen, I'm telling you now, I'm not going to stop doing this. So do you just want to be third wheel? Like, let's all just just be together. Like, that's that's the conversation that somebody is having. And this is somebody who could be living in the household with somebody. Because it, it says living in a situationship and cheating in a same-sex relationship. The same-sex part... Oh my goodness. You know, this this could even be like now I'm picking up like a cousin. This could be a situation where like somebody's cousin or something lives in the house with them. I don't know the same sex part. I don't know if it's two women or two men. I don't. Take it however it resonates. I, I feel like whoever whoever kind of resonates with this story, this is something that you've had your suspicions about. Yeah, you've you've had your suspicions about this already, and maybe you've been very guarded. You're like, mm, something about that just doesn't make sense to me. So, so this could be a situation where somebody's like, yeah, you know, me and my my ex, we still live together for the kids, or it's something real shady that will make you kind of question, like, what? Like, why, you know, why would you do that? You know, this could be some, you know, you know we're, we're separated, but we still live together or something. And literally somebody is bringing a third party in. And I don't know, but whoever, these people are all connected somehow. It, it, it almost feels like, like incest or something, to be honest. Because there, there's, this is, this is family. Like, somebody here is related to another party. It's a cousin or... An in-law something. Somebody's definitely break, breaking all codes here. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like somebody is too far gone. This, whatever the, the, the sex or passion is, somebody's like, no, I, they can't let it go. Like, somebody has been turned out. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> There's a narcissist here. Somebody may need to go to therapy and it says practice forgiveness. For some of you, this is something, you know, we are Mercury retrograde. For some of you, this is something that already happened long ago and you're just getting confirmation about it. You still need to practice for forgiveness. Um, you probably have just been betrayed by a, nar a really terrible narcissist, but it looks like now you're moving on to have a supportive connection elsewhere where you're going to have wish fulfillment. You may create a business, a life, or, or more opportunities with yourself from someone. 
whoever this person is that's in this swinger type stuff, and this storyline has come out before several months ago, this is somebody who might be at a distance from you, and they're saying that they're unfazed. Like, this person, they're, they don't care at all about which, about you not... Like, this person is just telling you, like, they're not emotionally invested. I I'm assuming that they want your, your energy for something, but... They're not going to stop what they're doing. This person could be sleeping with people that they work with. Or they sleep with people for, for work or for money. I don't know. This, this is just a lot. I mean, it's a real just ee, scandalous type of reading. Goodness. <laughs> My goodness. Desires. Someone has desires for you. For some of you, it's like... This could be a swinger couple that was trying to get you into a connection with them. Jumping to conclusions. Somebody could have jumped to some conclusions without all the information. You may need to cleanse your space right now. Somebody could have made the assumption that you were into this type of stuff or so somebody feels like if the price is right they can make anybody do what they want somebody feels like because and, and this is how a lot of people are who are in like poly relationships they feel like if they can afford multiple partners then you should be okay with it it feels like somebody is desiring you and they may have thought that if they could take care of you that you will be okay with them being in this situation. This person could be in the entertainment industry. They could be some type of public figure. I did see in this other deck, like star. This person could be in the spotlight. So they could be, this could be somebody who's in the spotlight. They make plenty of money. Like they can take care of multiple families or whatever. This person felt like you, maybe you should, you should go with this. Like you will be okay with it. Manifest here, your desires are within reach. It says Thanksgiving, something about this holiday could be significant. So something could have happened around Thanksgiving. Somebody could be a Scorpio or Sagittarius. November could have been significant. Oh my goodness. Termination, you're fired. So somebody could be getting fired from a job. Leaving it all, leaving the past behind. Ooh, arrested and catfish. Ooh. I told you somebody out here may work as like an escort or something. The grass was greener because it was fake. You're leveling up. Some of you could be studying, like researching occult things. This could be part of your life purpose. This this feels, you know, like this is probably a past situation for some of you. Some of you was possibly getting catfished by a person. Like somebody could have been trying to come towards you with an offer, but it feels like somebody was trying to bait you in for someone else. Like it, it feels like there's a person behind the scenes who could be like in some type of industry or something that like they chose you. They have a desire for you and they jumped to this conclusion that like I said, for the right amount of money, you will be okay with being in some type of very like unconventional relationship or something like that. This is a, this is a several different situations here. Somebody is definitely into open relationships. And whoever this person is though, they could have a long-term partnership with somebody already. And that person lets, like, you know, it's okay with them bringing people in. Oh, okay. But you know what it is? It's like this person. So somebody out here could be married or in a long-term relationship. This person could be a public figure. They could be in the industry. They could be wealthy or whatever. Them and living this um, swinger life or whatever, that's the norm for them. They're already in this type of agreement with whoever the long-term partner is. 
it feels to me though like this person may have told their partner that they want to bring you in like they want but they want to marry you the, the okay yes yes like i'm getting very clear confirmation this person has told their long-term partner and i'm saying partner because i don't think they're married they're telling this person hey i want to marry this other person and that uh, their long-term partner is like wait so you mean to tell me that you chose me to build wealth stability security have kids and a family with but you actually want to marry that person and you want us all to live under the same roof and this person who is wealthy king of pinnacles emperor in the reverse this person is like well yeah i mean hey i have the cash flow i can afford it so why are you complaining this person is telling this other person like this masculine is telling this other feminine, listen, I don't want to marry you. I know we have a life together, but I don't want to marry you. I'm not going to marry you unless, like, we're not going to be together in that way unless you're okay with me bringing this third party in. So somebody has given a person an ultimatum. They're like, I'm not marrying you, but we can be in a, a, a poly relationship. And I feel that the person who has been around the longest it's not the person that this this masculine wants to actually marry. This masculine wants to marry the person that they want to bring in. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. I think that some of you, it's like, this is old for a lot of you. Like, this has already happened, but it's coming up again. Like, there's some kind of energy from this old situation that's coming up. A lot of you have already moved on. Like, you've left this situation completely behind. But arrested in catfish here, like, you've already caught somebody. Somebody also could have been trying to catfish you in some kind of way, like, online, reaching out to you. This person's partner or their exes or other people that they, you know, been in this crazy lifestyle with have possibly been trying to get at you some kind of way. I just feel like a lot of you, though, it's like you've already moved on to something new. You've already possibly gone to therapy. Like, you've already realized that you keep attracting the same type of energy. You're releasing this situation, and now you're moving on to start a life with somebody else. But it's like this person... I'm assuming this person is is making yet another attempt to try to get you into this third party. This is the same energy. That it's very conflicting because it's not only this masculine doing it. Like this masculine, the person that they're with is very upset with you too because this masculine still has desires for you. And it's crazy because I don't think that like you're connected to these people in any way. I feel like you're all, some of you are already like in another relationship. And this person's like, no, that divine feminine divine, they're going to be with me. And they're telling whoever they're with, you're going to accept this. Like this person feels that they can get you back. Like th this is the kind of person they feel like they can put, take you out of whatever relationship you're in and just put you in their house <laughs> with, with their current person, kids and everything and as long as they have money, you're supposed to just be okay with it. And if you have left this situation behind, maybe this person is, is with the page of swords in the verse. Maybe they are realizing now that like you're you're moving on to having your own like life or family or traditional relationship of your own. And this person is like, no. <laughs> That wasn't a part of the plan. You were supposed to be in this poly relationship with me. How dare you go off and, and decide that you want to be married and, and in a monogamous relationship? Like, no. Wow, this is crazy. I just don't understand, though, why the... Well, I guess the other person is like, why are you still trying to recruit that person? And I feel like a lot of this, like, oh, you know, this gossiping oh well he chose me it it's interesting because it's like somebody is like well you know we have kids together they this is this person's with me but it's like it's very clear that this masculine may have a family with this person 
but this masculine won't even marry this person. This masculine literally is holding out for a particular divine feminine. And they're, they're willing to give the mother of their children or whomever the boot to get, they're like, you can leave. Like this person literally is like, I can put you out and bring this person in. And I think that's why this, this other person is so upset. I'm just going to say like with this divine feminine, they're like, so you're willing to put me out or make me uncomfortable after everything that I've gone through with you, giving you kids and everything else because you want this person so bad. And this, this, whoever this man is, they're like, they can't control themselves. This person's desires for you are going through the roof. And it's most likely this person is jumping to the conclusion that you're about to be married. Okay. Some of you, you could be dating somebody that's younger than you. They're like, hold the, like what? They're like, wait, you dating somebody else and talking about getting married and having kids to somebody else? No. This person's like, uh-uh. <laughs> you gonna come over here and be with me. This this is like a real dictator. Yeah, some of you are in a new relationship. Like, literally, it's here. You have a supportive connection with somebody. Some of you, you could have, there could be an age difference between you and somebody. But you and this person literally could be like building your own family. This person could live at a distance or whatever. Like, they, they're into you. I feel like the person that is... Like attacking you lives at a distance. And they they don't care at all about your feelings, emotions, none of that. This person is a narcissist. This is a narcissist at a distance from you. And you've already forgiven this person for what they did. This person chose someone over you. You've already forgiven them for that. But now they're like, no. This per What this person is really saying is that I'm not going to leave this other person behind. We have children together. We make money. They know me. I know them. And it looks good for the community. But I'm also not going to leave you alone and allow you to go live your life. So what this person is doing pretty much is like, they're, they're pr pretty much saying, I'm going to pay you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pay you off. This person is like, I'm going to buy you out of whatever their new relationship is that you're in. And you're going to come over here and be with me. And you're just going to deal with the fact that, that my, my other person is here. Because I have, like, child. <laughs> I don't know what I got them. Very guarded and protective over your heart. Oh my gosh. This person has it all figured out. And that, they don't understand. Like, you yeah, look blackmail. And I don't know what this person is doing, but somebody is, is possibly trying to blackmail you. Or some, somebody here is being blackmailed. They're like, if you don't do this. It's like this person is trying to spiritually blackmail you. They're like, if you don't come, if you don't leave that connection alone that you're in and come over here and deal with me and my family and be in this, this poly relationship, then I'm, I'm going to destroy your life. It's what this person is saying. Behind the scenes, this person is always projecting this energy onto you. Wow, this is insane. Yeah, your life is about to upgrade. Because you have this supportive person here that you're supposed that you're so some of you you're already with this person or you're going towards this person. The news is getting out that like you're moved that you've moved on. Cheating in a same sex relationship, living in situation. You, it, it feels like these people who are in this long-term relationship, they have an open connect, an open relationship. So they both deal with different people. And, and sometimes it's people of the same sex. So they, they, they've even had people living with them before. Like, they're, they're swingers. They, they've had people living with them before. Like, this is what they do. You know, these are the people that you see picking the kids up from school in a carpool line and everything. Yes, Friday night, they having swingers parties. Th th this is them. <laughs> but it's something about this divine feminine that they're like, we, we need that person. And it, I'm, I'm hearing like the the woman that this masculine is with is just like, dang, if you're, not, if you're never going to stop talking about this person or looking them up online or, or doing this or doing that, then why don't you just go and get that person? And the masculine is like, well, hell, I'm I'm trying to. This, there, I'm hearing this person like, but if I could just get this other dude out the way, wow. 
you this is more like the divine for somebody is completely obsessed with you and it's not it's, it's a man and it's like the person that he's with could be attracted to you or something but that person they can't stand you because this masculine wants you so bad somebody's like i don't understand how after 10 plus years it's been for some of you six to ten years after all this time you still want that person oh my goodness i don't know child. someone is being very childish sexual fantasies out and i was just about to say i feel like whoever the woman is that person want, wants a piece of you too it's almost like I want to know what is so special about this person that you just cannot stop fantasizing about that. This person, whoever this masculine is, I don't know if they're saying your name, having dreams about you or what, but the person that they have a, a life and a family with is like, I want to know what the hype is about. Like, somebody's like, what's the hype about when it comes to this person? Some of you may be very attractive because I just keep looking. Like, some of you, you people who are, you may look very young for your age or something. It says someone's feelings run really deep, but they are concealed. I think that this um, this woman that this distorted masculine is with, I think they have feelings and fantasies for you too. And look, this man is stubborn. He's like, I'm not letting go of this. This man is like, they're gonna be with me. I don't, I don't care. This part, he's not letting go. Just, he's not. I mean, he has to let go, but he's. He's spiritually bullying or blackmailing this divine feminine. And then he's going and giving ultimatums to the person that he's with. It's like this man, I'm hearing this man, he's like, you know, you know that I always, this is somebody who's making it clear, I can't be with just one person. Um, but but I'm going to tell you, if it was divine feminine, this person... <laughs> This person is so upset to know that this divine feminine is possibly with somebody else. This person now they're thinking, but they're like, well, maybe I need to try to be monogamous now. If that's what it takes, I'll try it. But it's like this person is making this proposition of like, well, I'll I'll try to be monogamous in a monogamous relationship with divine feminine, but he's still trying to tell divine feminine, but can you let my my baby mama stay in the house with us? So that we can keep pretending to the kids that we're all a family. So it's like, what what are you supposed to do? What is this, sister wives? <laughs> this is so crazy to me. Oh my gosh, this is insane. And I'm telling you, this person really has this figured out like what this person is trying to do is make sure that they get this man wants everything he wants this is a real narcissist he's like let me have my long-term girlfriend life partner i can be at home with my kids i can still look like i'm a, I'm a decent person in the community but i want the person that i have the most sexual fantasies about i want them here too so somebody's just stuck in between two worlds and, and trying very hard <laughs> to bring them. To, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is because I'm seeing this part like this is an extremely logical person. This person and I'm I'm too, this kind of person is just like how does this not make sense to y'all? This person is like, do you not see that if all of us were to be together, like we would make more money, we could have fun. We could all go out. Like, this person is like, don't y'all think that this is so, this is an amazing idea? This man does not care about the feelings of these women at all. He's like, I need to be comfortable. He's like, I have the money. I'm the man. I want to be comfortable. I'm a stubborn narcissist. Okay, do what I say. And that's it. And he is really pissed off that this divine feminine, he's like, who? You got the nerves to be going out here trying to... These cards, just, you got the nerves to be going out here trying to be in a relationship and start a family with somebody? 
This man is like, but I told you, you can ha you can be a part of my family. <laughs> you can be a part of my family. Why do you need to start your own family? You don't think my family is good enough for you? <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> like, where you look, the chair, where do you think you're going? Hop on the poly bandwagon with us. Be a swinger like us. This person's like, I'm sick of you trying to have all of this, this, this clean, pure energy. Just, you know, be, be a swinger. This man is stressed, not on the sword. <laughs> He's having stress, fear, nightmares. He don't know what to do. It, it's, it's this new relationship that's got him going crazy. Like, what are you talking about? This person's like, yeah, marriage. And then look at that. The Hierophant and the Two of Cups. This is someone who does not believe in like a traditional marriage. And the Ace of Pentacles, this part. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and this person is telling whoever they have a, a family with, I'm not marrying you. <laughs> woman may has to feel right now i mean listen i don't care about any of this because this is so foolish but could you imagine somebody coming home to you like <laughs> yeah i know we have kids a, a home life a family life business whatever but i want my ex I, i'm not gonna marry you even though we've been together for 15 years okay um but i really think i want to marry this divine feminine and, and the other person is just like the woman that you've been stuck on the whole time we've been together. So you tell me kids later, houses later, trips, cars, listen, every holidays spent together, you still want to marry that person. Like I'm standing here in, in your life and you're refusing to marry me, but you, you're going to come to me and tell me right now you want to marry that person because they are about to be married to somebody else. Can you imagine the type of ego <laughs> that it takes for a person to go to somebody with, I mean, to confidently and just tell them, listen, I'm not marrying you. I mean, it's here. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. This person's like, no, I'm not. I'm not offering you a marriage. Like, I'll pay for things. But no, 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 I'm not, I'm holding back. I'm not offering you a marriage. I'm only going to marry Divine Feminine. And the person's like, but Divine Feminine, I feel like the 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 person that this masculine is with is like, have you not noticed that Divine Feminine is in another relationship? Like, and this masculine is just like, yeah, that's okay, four pentacles. I can, I can get them back. It's like, no, don't worry. D don't you worry about who my Divine Feminine is with. I just need for you to start clearing your stuff out the closet because I'm about to go get Divine Feminine and make Divine Feminine come here and be with, with both of us. <laughs> this is so correct. Like what? What TV show, reality show is this? Five of Swords. Look. This person is just like this person is trying to drive everything away from you because they're they're determined to be victorious. They don't care how much conflict comes up. No. And this person is very stressed out and they're upset because you're not stuck. You're not in any type of illusion. The wheel of fortune is in the reverse. So you already know, you're like, you know, this this will bring you nothing but bad karma. Therefore, you're not investing in the Six of Pentacles. You don't want to exchange any of your energy, time, effort, energy, or anything with these people. So the Page of Wands, in the reverse, this person can't take action to bring in, look, now the Cups in the reverse and the Sun is in the reverse. This person is so pissed right now. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hermit. <laughs> This person is so mad. They're like, wait, 
I did all of it. Like, it feels like a person literally went and built an uh, entire life with somebody. And they, it's like they built a life, they built a family, and the whole plan was to just go get Divine Feminine after being a swinger, business owner in the entertainment industry, whatever. It's like, well, I built a life, I had all my fun. Okay, Divine Feminine, it's time for you to come home. Come home to what? Oh, just, just me, my other wife and kids, and, you know, I, I have girlfriends and boyfriends. But listen, I got some money. Don't worry about that. You, you, this person like don't worry about that. I literally this person is pretty much asking you to sell your soul. Don't don't worry about what I do. You just need to stop trying to go out here and be happy and and have your own family and come over here and join the team. Is what this person and this person is obsessed like they're stuck on you. Because I'm telling this person is having a conversation with the other person. I'm not marrying you. I, I already told you I'm marrying Divine Feminine. <laughs> Divine Feminine is possibly somewhere engaged and on the way to being married to somebody else. This man's just like, no, that's not going to happen. You got to be careful with this kind of person because this person, when they want something, they'll do whatever it takes to have it. I mean, this is one of those by any means necessary. Like, oh, you think you're going to marry? Like, no. Ten of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles here. And you have your justice. I feel like many of you right now, you're working on your own success, happiness, having prosperity and abundance in your life and this person is trying to turn your life upside down. They want you to have conflict, chaos, and be very unhappy. Yeah, but justice, this situation is going to be balanced out. You just need to keep moving forward. <laughs> I cannot believe this. This is somebody who literally is like a swinger. That it's like... You're either you gonna be with me or I'm gonna be with you or we gonna be together. That's what this person said. Either you gonna be with me or I'm gonna be with you or we gonna be together. And and, and they feel like but and, and I'm giving you options. Okay. I'm I'm telling you now, I'll give you all the money you want, but you just need to know it's like this person's like, I'll be listen, you you do you wanna sleep in a room with me? Do you wanna sleep like this person is planning this out like it's a, a business deal. Do so do you want to stay in the room with me? Do you want me, you, and my other girlfriend in here? You know, do you want your own wing in the house? Like, what do you want? Do you want to be my next, do you want me to build you a house next door? You know, do you want us to have a sign days or nights? You know, can I take you on a date on Tuesday, Taco Tuesday with you, and then take them out on a date on Thursday? Like, what do you, this person's like, you You can tell me what you want, and I'll do it. I just need you to know that you're going to marry me. It's, cra it's crazy, and this person is, is serious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is, I can't do anything but, but laugh at this. Because. <laughs> Who thinks like this? I, this could have happened. Something could have happened around Thanksgiving where this person was like, yeah. <laughs> I wish I wish my divine feminine was here cooking. I'm sick of being in the house with y'all. Where? This, I feel like this person is actually going around and telling people like, yeah, you know, I'm really trying to manifest my marriage. <laughs> and the person... in the house with <laughs> the person the like oh wow he's thinking about marrying me and I feel like this man is like no <laughs> you know I'm not marrying you no divine feminine
seriously, I'm not lying to y'all, but this is what I'm saying. This person is like, this person, I'm saying like, this person is walking around like deep fried turkeys and everything. I'm talking about real family guy. Like, yeah, man, I hope this is my last Thanksgiving without, <laughs> without being married. <laughs> and the other person's like, oh, wow. Like, they, they about to go ring shopping. And I feel like this masculine is so stubborn and straightforward and logical. This person is like, girl, no, I'm not talking about marrying you. <laughs> I'm talking about divine feminine. I'm, I'm about to go get her. You didn't know? Like, Divine Feminine, listen, he looked at the watch like, I'm hoping that by Christmas, Divine Feminine will be here. You, you know, are you okay with that? You don't even have to worry about putting a Christmas tree up. I'm, I'm going to get Divine Feminine to do it. <laughs> like, what? And, this, this, this is the kind of person you, it's scary because they have to have this other person extremely brainwashed because the other person is just like, oh, wow. But what's happening is the other person hates Divine Feminine because this person's like, wow, this fool really wants to marry this person and is not even considering me for marriage. Like, it's not even a, con no. These people have kids and everything and this man is just like, girl, you know I'm not married. Like, like literally, this man is like, I'm, I'm, he's saving all his love <laughs> for Divine Feminine, but he's not going to get rid of this other person. Y'all better not let this person come in and disturb your peace during my commercial break because they got a plan for sure. This person has a <laughs> This person could be trying to like come in and propose. They're trying to propose an offer to you that you cannot refuse. This may be the type of person that's like, let's go, let's let's run away, let's elope, and I'll build a mansion for you. I'll buy you 17 cars if you want it. I just want you to come home. I told you, it's like, I can see this just come home, anime, just come home. I need you back to, just come home. <laughs> mm -mm. This has to be like some type of reality TV show. If somebody out there, if, if y'all are writing a script for a movie, this, this, is what, this is what this has to be, because there is no way this is like somebody's real life. No way. <laughs> There's no way. This was a good laugh for me. And, I, you know, the truth is, it probably is happening for some of you, but you have the power, you know, and if you are open to stuff like this, that's your business. But those of you that know you want nothing to do with this situation, please guard and protect yourself and continue moving forward. My goodness. Yeah, it's time for you to celebrate. And I said this earlier. It says, Bessie, you know he, he or she is bankrupt, right? It says, Betrayal. I just didn't see it coming. He was in the closet all this time. Somebody in here is into a lot. This says sex trafficking. Somebody is just into all kinds of stuff. And look, it says he or she will be mine. Interfering in your relationship and digging up dirt on you. Yeah, it's like, somebody's like, listen, I feel like this person too, they want you to come in and help balance out their karma. Like somebody may know that they have karma coming and they're like, well, I need you in the house with me. I need you in the house with me. I need you in the car with me. I need you in the bed. I need you around me at all times. This person wants you to be like their shield of protection. <laughs> And they they want you to add bells and whistles and value to them because you're so pure, you're so sweet or innocent or whatever, divine. This person is like, well, if you're around, I won't look so bad. This person could even be ex experiencing like legal stuff. They're like, well, my chances of winning the case will probably be better if they see me out with you. Or I will be more accepted in society or in this community if they see me with you. I'm gonna leave it here. This one was crazy, okay? And I'm, y'all, I'm, I know, like, the situation to me, I know I'm laughing. It's, it's, to me, it doesn't seem like a, 
a bad situation. Like, of course, some of you, maybe you're being experiencing spiritual attacks. I'm not laughing at that. Please understand that. I'm just laughing at the massive ego of this person and how they really feel that this lifestyle is completely normal and they completely undermine and underestimate divine beings and think that like they can just have their way with you. That to me is comical. Very funny. <laughs> but um, I'm not laughing at anyone's pain because for some of you I know this particular couple or whomever, they are probably trying to put you through pure hell. Um, you're protected. You you can absolutely get out of this as long as you just keep moving forward. You don't have to let this um, dictate and control your life in any way. This is somebody who is just obsessed with you. And this person is very much obsessed with marrying you. Okay, but they're actually unavailable to give you all that you deserve. However, they're longing for you because they are actually addicted to you. But the situation that they want you in, it does not align with your morals and values. It doesn't. This, If you were to marry this person or be in a connection with them, there will always be obstacles and challenges. And this person, they do have addictions. And they have... Um, this person has fetishes and fantasies that they, they can't control. I feel like this person, whatever their fantasies are, you're probably like the, the only person that has ever made them kind of think that they may be able to tame their flesh a little bit, but they can't. This person, is they, they like what they like, okay? <laughs> and really what this person really like, they like energy. It's not even the, the sex. They like energy. It's something about your energy. Your energy and your protection. Yeah, this is a narcissist. They don't like you. They don't like anybody. But they need you for their own psychic survival. 